Hi everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog for this week. In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Story Siren, where we show what we got this week. Um, I didn't get any physical copies in this week, although I did get a dictionary for my English course. Um, I started an English course about a week, maybe two weeks ago, and I'm very excited to finally improve my speech because I still sound like a weird Dutchy person. Um, so yeah, excited for learning more. Um, but I did get a couple of e-galleys and free books from Amazon, so let's get started with those. First up, I got a book that I cannot talk to you about, and I really, really want to because I'm currently reading it and I'm almost done, and it's so good. Um, it's a dystopian novel, and I can't say anything more about it. I wasn't even allowed to put it on Goodreads. Um, but when I can talk about it, I will, because it's really, really good, and I think everyone should read it. Um, and I got a couple of review titles from NetGalley and Edelweiss. I just want to say Edelweiss. I got Hanging by a Thread by Sophie Littlefield, and this is part of the cover. Um, the NetGalley titles tend to scatter a bit over various screens, so I have a couple of half pieces of the cover. Um, this is about a girl or woman who uh, repairs clothes and she has this ability to feel or experience things from their owners. Sounds really, really interesting. And it reminds me a bit of Slide, which um, has a bit of the same concept because the girl can slide into other people's minds by touching objects that they left an imprint on. So that sounds really, really interesting. Then I got Ash and Winter by Mike Millen, which is the sequel to... Um, Ashfall, which came out last year and I still haven't read, um, but I'm planning to read that this weekend, so hopefully I can get to um, the sequel very, very soon. Then I got a title that I'm really, really, really excited for. I got Once by Anna Carey, which is the sequel to Eve, which has been made into a TV series, and I'm so, so excited for this book. I really liked Eve. It was short and sweet, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in Once. Then I got Insignia by S.J. Kincaid. I hope I said that right. Um, this sounds so, so good. It's about a boy who tries to be of more importance and then he gets into some kind of program and it turns out to be something really, really different. Um, it sounds really, really good. I'm really looking forward to reading it. The people who have read it already are really, really excited about it, so I really hope that I will enjoy it just as much. And then I got two free titles from Amazon. I got The Phantom of the Opera because everyone is talking about it and I haven't read it and I have not seen either the movie or the musical. So I really should get that because well, it sounds really, really interesting. So um, I'm looking forward to reading that and I hope I can squeeze it in somewhere because my TBR is ridiculous. And then last but not least, I got Overprotected by Jennifer Lawrence. Um, I already have one of her books, but I have not read it yet. I'm not sure what the title of that one is, but this is the cover of Overprotected. It's about this rich girl who falls in love with her bodyguard, I believe. Um, sounds good, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. And that's everything in terms of books. I did get a couple of swag items in. Uh, you may have noticed last week that I was wearing a Mockingjay uh, sweater. Um, I really needed some casual lounging clothes, so I got that sweater, but I also got two t-shirts. Um, I got also got this one, which is a District 4 um, t-shirt, and I wish this wasn't on it because I love the logo, but I really, really like this shirt. I've been wearing it almost all week. Um, it's really, really comfortable, and I'm so glad that I picked it up. And then I also got my official uniform. And this is what the back looks like. Um, I'm in District 10. I'm a butcher according to my um, ID pass, which is really weird because at first I was in District 6. Um, but I guess they changed their minds and I'm going to be wearing this a lot, I think, because it's really, really comfy. And I really like that they allow you to put your name on the back. So... Yeah, that's everything that I got in my mailbox this week. Um, let me know in the comments below what you got in your mailbox this week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.